You guys have asked for it, and I'm bringing it. Stay tuned to find out what I found. What is up guys? I'm Milena and welcome to today's video. I'm excited because this is a highly recommended video by you guys. And today we are going and my husband decides to cut the grass while <laughs> I'm shooting video. We are going to be talking about some new molds that I found. You guys have requested that I just go on the hunt to find a mold that fits those particular vessels. Well, guess what? I did find one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the mold and then I'm gonna tell you guys where you can get the mold. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep watching. All right, let's get started. Step one, we wanna prepare our area with uh, just some paper. And let me, let me give you a little tip here. If you use this paper, it's perfect for cleanup. It's less mess you don't have to deal with, so you just roll this up or fold it up and you can throw it right in the trash. So it just makes life a lot easier. Step two, you want to pretty much lay everything out. You want to make it easy on yourself. Um, and then at this point, what you want to do is just take your mold. You're going to add your gold flakes to it. Uh, kind of lay them out just however you want. You may, just remember you're making your own design, so you create it the way you want. Step three, so we're gonna apply our gloves and our mask and if we have glasses for protection. So remember safety first. This is not something you wanna breathe in. This powder is extremely fine. It blows around. You do not want this in your lungs and you do not want it in your nose or your eyes. So always just wear some gloves as well just because in this case, for me, I want to protect my nails, and also concrete is very, uh, it, it absorbs moisture, so remember that, and it will dry your hands out. Step four, um, you're going to add one part of water to four parts of concrete. So first, I always add my water, just because it's harder to pour the water when you're, you know, when you're mixing this, you pour the water into the concrete and it's just, it's easier to add the water first. Then you're going to mix this until you get that perfect consistency. So as you do this, you will get more and more uh, comfortable and familiar with what you like and what works best. So usually people say a pancake consistency. Sometimes I like it a little more watery than that. Um, but like I said, just kind of experiment with it and do what works best for you. Step five, we're going to pour this slowly into our mold. We don't want to kind of move around the flakes and don't want to push all the paint into one corner. So we're just gonna add a little bit of the red paint or whatever paint you want and then we just pour the concrete in really slow and that's it we're going to set this aside i would say this would take about an hour uh, maybe two hours at the most just to be on the safe side uh, if this is the first time doing this definitely let it sit for about two hours before you unmold it and then you just take it and you're going to tap it so you get all the bubbles out okay it's time to unmold this is the best part because you get to see what your design looks like on the inside. So I let this sit for about an, exactly an hour. And are you ready for it? Look how easy that was to pop out. Super easy. And ta-da! So this will lighten up just because it's still a little, there's moisture still in here so it will lighten up it'll turn out to be like this light. So that's it, I'm gonna let this uh, sit overnight. Perfect, fits perfect on the actual candle vessel. Now if you wanna sand this down, you can, but really you don't need it. Okay, so if you guys are interested in purchasing these molds, let me tell you guys, 
This company has been really, really good to work with. I reached out to them and immediately I got an email response from Alex. He has been great to work with. He asked me, you know, the certain questions. I sent him over my logo. He went ahead and put the logo on my mold and that thing shipped within a few days. So thank you so much, Alex, for sending that out to me. I absolutely love the mold. You guys can go over there and check out his website, customsoapstamps.com. I'll list everything in the description below. Go check them out. Thanks again, Alex, for sending this to me. It works perfect for these candles. Also, if you guys haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. I'm at Milena's underscore creations. I'm on TikTok, Milena's creations. I'm on Facebook at Melina's Creations. And you know, like I said, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that bell so that way you guys do not miss another video from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.